manifest upon somebody that is given to praise. Now, in second, there is an, uh, uh, an occasion in Second Chronicles, chapter five, verses thirteen to fourteen, when Solomon finished building the temple. And he was bringing in the ark of God. And he had this thing happened there. Let's pick it up on verse 13. Second Chronicles. And indeed, it came to pass. And that is how it's going to come to pass in your life. Yeah. When the trumpeters and the singers were at one. To make one sound to be heard. In praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpet and the cymbal. And instrument of music. And they praise the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercy endures forever. That the house, the house, your body is a house. Where you live is a house. Faith Chapel is a house. The house of the Lord was filled with the glory, with the cloud of glory, so that the priest could not continue ministry. Because of the cloud. For the glory, the glory, the splendor, the majesty of God filled the house of God. On the altar of praise and rejoicing before him. Remember Psalm 22 verse 3. God lives in the praises of his people. Now they took Silas and Paul and subjected them to an impossible situation. Put them in the dungeon. Whoop them. There was no way for them to get out of jail. They didn't commit any crime. They only set a lady free from demonic oppression. But the Bible said instead of complaining and murmuring, Lord, why is this happening to us? Where is your face? What did my father do? Silas could have said, hmm, Apostle, are you sure you are holy? What, who, did, who, who did you offend? Did you, are you sure you pray? The Bible said they pray and they began to sing praises. We read it. The lady that led prayer today was in the spirit. And the Bible says suddenly there was an earthquake. Now please tell me, in all my 50-something years, I, I have heard about earthquake. So many earthquakes I've had, especially uh, California and other places, there has never been a record of earthquake happening and chains in people's hands dropping off. Only on that occasion. So what is the correlation between earthquake that didn't happen in the city, happened in the jail, and their chains drop off, the doors open? That is why I know that as you take your eyes off from what is not working and put it on what is working, whatever is limiting your advancement, they are going to break off the remaining two and a half months of this year in the name of Jesus. 